This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Factually Contractually and Legally Mike. Today we are doing something very important. We are starting a search for the worst wig on TV. This idea was of course inspired by the crusty Alison De Laurentiis wigs on Pretty Little Liars. And let me just tell you, while these are evil, they are not the worst. Over on Instagram, I asked the girls to send through what they would consider the worst wigs that they've seen on TV. And then I extended the search criteria and said, feel free to send some movie ones. So this is mostly TV with some movie wigs. We're gonna go one by one and the winner of each wig off stays on so that we can find the winner. Actually, um, hold on, let me just slip into something a little more comfortable. Oh, okay, yeah, oh, okay. So basically I went into the store and I mentally control f worst wig and I came up with this one. And I think I actually lied to myself because let's not pretend that I'm not serving right now. Like, come on, this Lord Farquaad Edna Mode tease. <gasps> Hang on, where's my glasses? I can't see without my glasses. <gasps> Stop it, this Velma cosplay. What's your name, BLB? So they calling you Barb. I actually kind of look like Azalea Banks in that one clip where she says, so what now? So? No, I'm saying what now? Like, what now? Let's start with Alison's Lady G wig and Alison's Vivian Darkbloom wig against each other. Look, there's almost no competition. I think the Lady G wig is definitely worse. I do believe that that wig would give power to an entire city with the amount of static electricity I imagine it has. Like the G in Lady G here does not stand for Gaga, it stands for Gorgonzola. The Lady Gorgonzola. Next we have Lady G versus Vivian 2. Vivian 2 I think may have actually outsold because I love that she's in the salon with this wig on and it still looks that bad. Next we have have Miss Susan Storm from Fantastic Four. The reason why I love this terrible wig so much is that it has two different hairlines. Here we have exhibit A and exhibit B. This wig actually reminds me of a message that someone sent me with a different wig. So they sent this Scarlett Johansson Black Widow wig from I think this is Infinity War. Bad wig for consideration. A picture doesn't do it justice. It was beyond stiff and the side bang <laughs> looked like it was the texture of concrete. I don't think that Black Widow wig is actually that bad but I like the description of concrete and I think the Fantastic Four wig on Miss Alba looks like literal concrete. She was set up. Halle Berry and X-Men, yeah. She was set up. Halle Berry was set up. They're so wrong for that. I would say that this is the kind of wig that I would expect when going into like a $2 shop and asking for X-Men Storm wig. And I gotta say, in my opinion, I think this is actually worse than Alison's Vivian Darkbloom wig. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Miss Catherine Langford in 13 Reasons Why. I do think this may have been one of the reasons. <laughs> I do enjoy how linear the wig is up there. It is giving very much mathematics. That beats Storm, but then there's an absolute contender blasting through next with Dark Betty and I have to say I'm kind of giving Dark Betty zhuzh right now. Riverdale wigs and by extension CW wigs yep someone has to pay for these crimes. If I'm not mistaken Dark Betty is when Betty had her cam girl era I think. I'm a little bit annoyed that her head looks better in the wig than mine does like why does mine look so wide? I look like Edna Mode. This takes the crown, so we have a new winner. Next we have this delectable Veronica Lodge blonde wig from Riverdale as well. And I enjoyed this screenshot that someone sent me because it's from an article that says best beauty moments from Riverdale. Where are they? That's a concrete wig, yep. Yep, that is truly concrete. Could she get this volume and this movement? I don't actually think so. My wig knowledge is not the ultimate supreme best, but I mean, it doesn't take a PhD in wiggery to know that this is bad. Where is the lace? Guys, you ready for this segue? Some could say that a wig protects your head. No, it's true, it's true. Speaking of protection, this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN or a virtual private network available as an app and a browser extension that lets you access content from all around the world and also protects you when you're browsing online. With over 3,000 servers, servers in 65 countries, Surfshark makes it super easy to switch your location and unlock another country's streaming service libraries. For example, I've just uploaded part two of my Pretty Little Liars series, so if you wanted to catch up on the show before part three comes out, but it's not available on Netflix in your country, you can just use Surfshark to switch your location. Also, it's never been more important to browse securely when you're online. That's why Surfshark has features like Clean Web, which blocks ads, malware, and tracking attempts. So you can keep doing what you're doing online and you don't have to worry about people trying to get a piece of that action. Now with Surfshark, you only only need one account and you can use it on an unlimited amount of devices. You can use my code MIKESMIKE, M-I-K-E-S-M-I-C, to get 83% off plus four extra months for free. Also remember Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk for you to try it out for yourself. Make sure you check out that link in the description and don't forget to use my code MIKESMIKE. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. That segue was a serve, why lie? Someone replied and said watching any Nicole Kidman movie is truly a struggle. You never know what wig she's gonna pull out. Mm-hmm. Now this first one here, 
What is she up to? I'm not going to replace Dark Betty as the supreme terrible wig for now because this reads as a direct attack. Like they knew that this was bad when they did it. I think the Riverdale girls thought they did something when that wig turned up. So I would say because of that, Betty stays. Here we have Julia Roberts and her Mother's Day wig. This, mm -hmm, this is absolutely beyond terrible. She's giving a lot of Ned's the Classified Coconut Head realness, also a bit of Acorn. In Ice Age with the Acorn, she looks like that. Chestnut, Hazelnut, all the girls. Also this title here, Julia Roberts was paid $1 million per day to wear that dumb wig in Mother's Day. I'm doing this for free. Congratulations to Julia Roberts wig in Mother's Day for taking top spot. Next we have Miss Lady from Bones. This looks dry. I'm getting part looking at this. Fun fact, before my Big Pretty Little Lions video, I ate so much popcorn the day before at the movies that my lips started bleeding. So then my lips were bleeding while I was doing the Pretty Little Lions video. Behind the scenes guys, behind the scenes. Looking at this wig is making my lips bleed. Um, it looks so dry. Why does it look so dry? Not as bad though. Nathan sent this. This one came to mine angel from buffy flashbacks volume mm -hmm. absolute volume i actually really enjoy this i think i could slay that if i was given the opportunity and or budget i would not accept this as a bad wig i think this was something ahead of its time this one came through many many times this is from america's next top model where this guy was given a beard wig Disgrace, absolute disgrace. I think at this point we've gone past the first level of hell and we have descended to the second level. Now Tyra Banks, I would say she's responsible for a lot of war crimes, such as the drilling of the teeth, the bad haircuts and stuff, but this is definitely up there. But I made a rule when I started this that I wouldn't include reality TV weeks because by doing so, we open ourselves to a lot. So unfortunately, this week has been disqualified. Jinkies. Next we have Joey King in this Mario cosplay moment from Kissing Booth 3, but I would like to talk about Joey King's wig in Kissing Booth 2. I really appreciate how it gives almost like logarithmic asymptote realness, and that's not easy. So I really, oh, sorry, I really appreciate it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Next we have Rita Ora in, I think this is one of the Fifty Shades movies. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? She truly looks like a mushroom. This was the first photo that I saw of it, and I thought, okay, she's having a moment, she's doing what she needs to do to some extent. Someone had to do it, I guess. What was being done was not necessarily what had been requested by the general public, but as what was designated by the producers, you know what I mean? So I get it, like Rita, I get it. But then I see this photo and I'm like, yeah, no, absolutely not. Truly the first time that I saw this photo, my mind immediately went to that sound of the fish gagging on TikTok. Oh. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know if she's actually cosplaying as a 1920s girly with a bob, like maybe it's a little time travel scene in Fifty Shades. You could tell me that happens and I would believe you. Rita Ora is now our new Wigstress Supreme, so congratulations. Our next wig is from Dexter, apparently it's during flashbacks when he's supposed to look young, like 20 or something. And it came with this tweet that someone sent me, reminiscing about how in Dexter, teen Dexter was played by Michael C. Hall in a wig and no other effort to make him not look like he was 35 to 42 of the course of him playing teen Dexter. Yeah menace it's a setup like how could it not be a setup logan lerman in the three musketeers or something um yeah terrible disgraceful but at the end of the day logan lerman can do what he wants you know i love this message that jilly sent me on instagram will Byers does not have a terrible week in execution i do not think but it just makes me laugh now that second photo i always see that on twitter and on tiktok as like display photos but i didn't realize that it was not fake <laughs> The fact that the makeup crew like took that and posted that online. Gary Oldman in The Fifth Element. Um, choices were made and I am making choice to ignore this. Chris Hemsworth and I think this is the first Thor movie. Why is it so flat? It's giving a little bit desert with how dry it is and a little bit tectonic plate with the flatness. Serena says, I have one. Oh my God, please kindly accept this one. It is so bad. <laughs> These characters are from the TV show Gotham and look at Barbara, the character in the middle. <laughs> Obsessed with the width, depth and length of this wig. I like how she's giving Hey Arnold. Sorry, but Rita Ora is still out flopping. Peter Dinklage. Um, Peter Dinklage was set up. In what world did they do this and they thought, yeah, this is this is great. Let's go with this. Next we have a real contender. I got this message from Spencer and Spencer said, Sam's dumb fucking old man wig in the supernatural finale. Man looks like those old bitches from the Muppets who booed Kermit. Also literally the entire fandom was on fire because it was the finale and they put no effort into his hair please all the bits with him and it looked like they were a video for a school project someone filmed on their iPhone 5. Is that real? Oh my god it is real. <laughs> that is truly disgraceful. Yep yeah, this well and truly out flopped Rita Ora. <laughs> so I just saw one that has to win. 
but I'm gonna save it to the end. Woody Harrelson's Carnage wig. I think this was in Venom. I haven't actually seen Venom, but apparently this is from Venom. Yeah, what the fuck is that? No, this is like Wendy from, you know, Wendy's? The girl, the Wendy from Wendy's, if Wendy was like a 50 year old man. This mystique flashback moment from one of the X-Men movies, like, Come on now. Her hair is taller than her forehead. I can't live like this. Terence Howard in Empire. That has to be Photoshop. This one here, I was so confused and I thought it was Photoshopped, but it's not. And apparently it's from the Brittany Murphy, like Lifetime movie. And this is supposed to be Alicia Silverstone on Mars, maybe. That looks like my Alison to the Rentis wig. This flashback wig from How to Get Away with Murder. I actually remember Okay, I remember watching this show and seeing this flashback and thinking, what the actual fuck are they trying to achieve with this hair? What was the goal? Like, I just don't get it. That is beyond terrible, but not as bad as the supernatural one. Like that supernatural wig is truly supernatural because it's demonic, yeah. Rosalie from Twilight. Yeah, she was done dirty. There's so much volume, it looks like carpet. But then again, all the Twilight girls were done dirty, um, including Jacob. What is this? I thought this was his real hair the first time I watched it and I was like, a choice was made. But then I found out that it was a wig and I was like, that's an even bigger choice. Now these last two, words doth be escaping me. They are both from the Vampire Diaries finale. I can't remember which one is Elena and which one is her evil twin slash reincarnated vampire grandma or whatever, I don't know. But this is bad, right? You're probably thinking, oh, this is terrible. This is disgraceful. Just you, wait a second. This? Like, is that real? It is real. Again, this is the series finale, like the supernatural wig. This was the series finale and they could not find a better wig. That is a war crime. We deserve an inquiry into how this ended up on the Vampire Diaries season finale. It truly looks like an Instagram filter. Like, can someone make that and call it Vampire Diaries finale wig? But if you do make it, you have to make sure that the hairline is just like a circle. <laughs> Again, it's a setup. This is by far the worst fucking wig that I've seen on TV, 100% for sure. So our top two were this Vampire Diaries moment and the Supernatural moment. I do believe that we are entitled to financial compensation for having to see these wigs on TV. Think Thank you for watching if you enjoyed it feel free to leave a like <laughs> if you know a worse wig let me know in the comments don't say my wigs this is my last video for the year i will take a couple of weeks to make the last part for the pretty little liars series so keep an eye out for that a lot of ciao and make sure you check out that surf shark deal and i'll talk to you all soon peace out bye oh